you probably recognize this situation. You're trying to focus very hard on your books because you have a test tomorrow, but you just can't focus. Or you're trying to do your homework and ding, here's another notification on your phone that grasps your attention. We've all been there and we all hate it. My name is Willem and today I'm sharing three tips that have been approved by science that will make you focus better. Welcome to Brains Applied. As you might know, I always put my references in the description down below and this movie is based on the book Focus on Out, Focus on Off by Mark Tichelaar and Oscar de Bos. And I would love to give those guys credits for this book because this book is great. It's short, it's concise, it's easy to read and it's full with tips. It's completely filled, it's a great book. So guys, great job. In case you want to read it, um, you're in some bad luck because it's a new book and it is only available in Dutch. In case you're Dutch, I put a link to the website in the description. Otherwise, you'll just have to survive this video. So let's get started. You might know this quote by Elon Musk. According to the authors of this book, this quote is bullshit. The goal is to work more efficiently and not longer. And there is something which is ironically called the Tesla model. And the Tesla model states that our productivity is not linearly correlated with the time that we spend working. Our productivity decreases over time because our brain needs two chemicals, noradrenaline and acetylcholine, or however you pronounce it. The first neurotransmitter makes us focus while the latter blocks the stimuli that do distract us. However, after some time, our chemical storages are depleted and at that point we can't focus anymore. So here's tip number one, take breaks. I spent so many days where I just was focusing or trying to focus on my books and trying to get things done because I had to and it just wouldn't work. And that was just because of a very simple reason that our brain needs breaks to produce these chemicals. Our brain needs time to do absolutely nothing. And this does not mean watching your favorite cat videos on YouTube. Doing absolutely nothing means doing absolutely nothing. So no podcasts, you have to go out, daydream, go on a walk without your phone or spend some time sitting on a bench and just enjoying nature. Or maybe have some bullshit conversation with one of your friends. You need to do something that does not require any attention at all. Give your brain a break by processing as little information as possible. A study actually found that people who work 60 hours per week are on average 30% less productive than people who work 40 hours per week. When you're doing a bulk task like replying to emails, it's advised to just focus for 25 minutes and then taking a 5 minute break. This is called the Pomodoro technique. You just have to close yourself off from everything else during these 25 minutes and just focus on this task to get this task done. And did a not urgent task get in between? Or did you just remember to bring milk from the supermarket? Write it down. Your brain trusts your notes and your agenda and your smartphone as an extension of itself. By writing it down, you get the distraction out of your head. Otherwise, your brain will keep spending time thinking and reminding yourself of what you are supposed to do. So write it down. Tip number two, multitask. Here's the deal, we are naturally wired to be distracted. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy not so really far away, we always had to be on our guard, not to get our head ripped off by a T-Rex or a saber-toothed tiger while we were making a fire. Nowadays, this means that we always have a tiny bit of brain capacity left and this brain capacity will scan our surroundings and it will try to distract us. It has been proven that 
when you are working on the computer you get distracted on average 566 times per day that's about once every 50 seconds a big issue is that we even study and read slower than we can process information and therefore we will get distracted this is something called the Yerkes dodson law when we process only very little stimuli our brain will get bored and distracted but when we process too many stimuli our brain will get really really stressed making us unable to focus as well let's use this example as an experienced driver you probably know that driving on the highway is very very boring because it just uses only very little brain capacity it's an automated process so what do you do you turn on the radio and you sing along with your favorite songs this is possible because the road is just straightforward and because you already know the songs. It just uses very little brain capacity. But you probably can't park your car in a tight parking spot while also singing along with your favorite songs. And this is because both tasks just require too much brain capacity. So keep your brain entertained and challenged. Try to read just a tiny bit faster or if you're in a meeting, draw some doodles on the margin of your paper. You know, these weird nonsensical drawings. It has been proven that drawing doodles makes you 29% more focused. Or you can use a fidget toy. My brother and I have these things to keep our hands entertained while we try to focus on our books. Or you can just put on your headphones and put on some white noise. White noise is a random sound signal that has different frequencies but that remains at the same intensity. Something like this. Or you can also use rain sounds. If you want to put on some rain sounds or white noise, mynoise.net is a great website. You can find the link in the description. Tip number three don't switch task the big difference between multitasking and switch tasking is that multitasking is doing two tasks at the same time but one of these tasks requires only very little brain capacity something like listening to a rain sounds however when you get too distracted you will start switch tasking examples of this are studying and checking your phone at the same time or studying while also checking your email but walking and studying at the same time is perfectly fine because walking is an automated task and it does not require that much attention. It's perfectly automated. The worst part is that when you interrupt your work to focus on a second task, your brain will do this second task more slowly because of the very simple reason that it will still try to focus on the first task and it will still try to remember what you were doing and when you finally finish the second task and you go back to the first task your brain will still be occupied by the secondary tasks leaving less brain capacity for the first task and it will take up to 10 minutes before you are fully focused on the first task again so put your phone away and close your mailbox because these things are designed to distract you. They are like a lottery. Sometimes when you check your phone you have a notification and sometimes you don't. But when you do, you get a dopamine spike in your break. You get a chemical reward. If you would have a notification every time when you check your phone, you wouldn't even care. But this gambling part makes it so much more exciting. So what about listening to music? This is perfectly fine as long as you already know the songs very well. In that case you can even listen to metal. But don't try to listen to new songs because this is too much information for your brain to process. By the way, the authors even state that trying to learn something while reading it doesn't work either because your brain has to switch between reading and remembering. And reading something while trying to mark the important parts appears to be even worse because it's too passive for your brain. They advise us to read a text twice. 
the first time just to read it and to understand it and the second time to try to remember it. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.